Welcome to another episode of Goldman Heron's Piece of Damien Tran. Today, I'm going to show you guys a really simple ice cream recipe. Today, we're making Japanese matcha green tea ice cream. So simple, so delicious, and so easy to make. Come and join me, and I'll take you through the steps. The first step to making our ice cream is we need to make the custard base for our ice cream. So if with here, I've got six egg yolks. And to those egg yolks, I'm going to add six tablespoons of white sugar. Just white sugar. And now, we'll beat this up until it's thick and creamy and fluffy, or until the egg yolk is mixed thoroughly with the sugar. So that's, that's going to take a couple, good couple minutes. So. So after beating the egg yolk with the sugar a couple minutes, you're going to get a thick consistency just like this. So that's not ready yet. Um, next step is that we're going to have to uh, simmer it with some milk. So in a second, I'll show you how it's done. But um, I'm just going to clean this up quickly and I'll be right back. So in a pot, we're going to add two cups of full cream milk. You can use light cream uh, milk if you want, but uh, I'm going to use some full cream milk today. We have two cups. And then we'll add the egg yolk and the sugar that we beat up just before. So we're going to add that straight to the milk. And then we're going to simmer it on low heat, very low heat. And cook it for about, say, less than 10 minutes. We, want, we don't want to scramble the eggs. We just want to cook the eggs so we, so we don't get sick later on. So I made sure that I, I didn't overcook the custard mixture. So when it was ready, I put it on top of the... Ice bath, so I'm gonna leave that to cool down completely before I add it to the next step. So the next step is very important because when you add hot milk into the cream, it's gonna ruin everything. So we wanted to let it completely cool down before we add it to the cream. So in the meantime, we're gonna do our green tea mixture, which we're gonna to add to this mixture right now, and um, I'll show you how we're gonna do that. This is the main ingredient in our green tea ice cream. This is pure 100% Japanese green tea matcha powder. So do please do not get the cheap quality crap that you sometimes find in the supermarket. They're mixed with sugar and potato starch, but like um, I've discovered last week. But this is um, good quality uh, Japanese green tea matcha powder. Um, it is a little is bit uh, expensive. Um, this little packet cost me about seven eight dollars, but it is important to get good quality uh, matcha powder. If you do not get the good quality part in matcha powder, you, you will not get the exact same taste as you want in your ice cream. So be sure to get this premium matcha powder. They're available in all good Asian groceries, so you can find it anywhere. So if you can bring this bowl here with the good quality ones, their color is a really vibrant green color. Whereas the cheap quality crap you get sometimes, it's very, very pale green. So that's not the type we want. So I'm going to add uh, about two to three tablespoons. So I'll add three today. One, one bit of strong. So we'll add three tablespoons of matcha, and to that we're going to add about one or two tablespoons of hot boiling water. And all you have to do is just mix that up. If it's too thick, just thin it out with some bit more hot boiling water. And that's all there is to it. So. While we were waiting for our custard mixture to cool down, we did our matcha green tea mixture and we beat our cream um, into stiff pig. So this is 300 grams of um, thickened cream that we've beat into stiff pig. Now we will add the green matcha tea mixture into the bowl along with the cream. Give it a quick mix, doesn't have to be too thorough yet. So mix it in thoroughly. Look like nice green color. That's the color we were after. That's that looks that's looking really nice. So now we will add our milk custard mixture in, and then we'll just mix it until the cream combines in with the rest of the other ingredients. We finished making our ice cream mixture. That's the hard part done. Now the, for the easy part. So there is two ways to making ice cream. You can put that mixture into a container and put it into the freezer and every hour or so you get a fork and just start scraping and mix it. 
Or the other simple way is you purchase an ice cream mix maker. So I've got this from a um, kitchen shop. Um, with this here, follow the instructions and it states that we have to freeze this bowl for 24 hours. So it is rock solid and that's how it's going to make the ice cream for us. And so follow the, the booklet. So I've added the paddle and now we'll add our green tea ice cream mixture into our bowl. So carefully not tipping it everywhere. So I'll pour it about three quarters up because when it solidifies it will expand as well. So as you can see in there our green tea ice cream mixture is in there. Put the lid on and after 20 minutes you get soft serve green tea ice cream. If you want it more firmer put it into the freezer for an extra two hours and it's ready. So turn on the bottom and as you can see green tea ice cream in 20 minutes. So that's what it looks like after 20 minutes guys. Soft serve green tea ice cream. So now I'm gonna have a serve. Oh look at that. Looking really nice. So delicious. That looks good. There you go guys. This is my green tea ice cream. Done in 20 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you guys in our next episode on Gourmet Home Recipes with Damien Tran. Till then, take care.